Today we are going to learn about hypertension. So what is hypertension? Okay. Mm, actually, uh, everyone will get confused what is hypertension and uh, they may say the definition of uh, blood pressure for hypertension. It happens for uh, us also. Okay. So BP blood pressure is a measurement of hypertension means uh, to assess the hypertension it is a uh, we use BP blood pressure it is a measurement okay uh, it's not the definition what is hypertension means it is a chronic condition um, causation of the uh, it which leads to the causation of coronary heart disease stroke and other vascular complications okay then who gave the concept of uh, blood pressure George Packering first he given and uh, cardiovascular risk is directly proportional to the blood pressure increase uh, uh, there is increase in the blood pressure means there is increase in the cardiovascular um, risk so what is the criteria for uh, uh, telling uh, he ki tumko hypertension hai so adults aged uh, 18 years or older who are not taking the antihypertensive drugs means they are not under uh, treatment okay the, uh, and not actually ill okay average uh, how many readings we should consider average of two or more readings on two or more occasions we should uh, take the blood pressure and we should consider it so how we will cl classify the hypertension so means uh, uh, blood pressure and then uh, how we will say that it is a hypertension optimal is uh, systolic less than 120 diastolic is less than 80 mm of hg so normal 120 to 129 it is normal 80 to 84 diastolic is also normal higher normal is 130 to 139 systolic 85 to 89 diastolic grade 1 hypertension when we will tell grade 1 hypertension is 140 to 159 range and uh, in uh, diastolic 90 to 99 grade 2 hypertension 160 to 179 100 to 109 is diastolic grade 3 hypertension greater than or equal to 180 uh, diastolic is greater than 110 isolated systolic hypertension greater than or equal to 140 systolic uh, less than 90 diastolic so uh, sometimes we will get confused uh, so uh, both are raised which uh, we will take uh, we will consider like that diastolic is uh, more sensitive than systolic so uh, and uh, we will consider in case of both are uh, raised or systolic is less but diastolic is increasing then diastolic we will consider it is uh, hypertension also sometimes there is only systolic rise of uh, blood pressure then we will say it as isolated systolic hypertension so systolic blood pressure of 140 mm hg or more uh, and diasto uh, diastolic blood pressure less than uh, 90 mm hg if it is there we will say it as isolated systolic hypertension so organ damage whether hypertension causes organ damage Yes, it causes organ damage. So, uh, presence of any signs of organ damage, if it is there, there is uh, increased cardiovascular risk to any level of the BP. So, what are blood pressure measurement? How we will measure the blood pressure? We will measure it by using sphygmomanometer and we will have digital and manual measures and uh, in uh, in case of uh, manual measures observation me observer me errors may occur uh, means hearing acuity uh, interpretation of correct cough sounds you may not uh, hear the correct cough sounds uh, properly it may be difficult to hear so there may be errors in measurement and instrumental measures what are the in instrumental measures sometimes leaking valve in, these are in case of the uh, manual measurements in case of sphygmomanometer we will use the valve right sometimes we won't keep it uh, tight sometimes uh, the air will be leaking there so there are leaking valve cuffs do not encircle the arm sometimes we will uh, encircle the arm very loosely with the cuff sometimes uh, we will uh, very tightly like that um, we will tight it it may also cause error in the measurement so what are the subjective errors 
physical environment the position of the subject is important and if the physical environment is very disturbing and everything uh, the it may show the rise in bp and external stimuli such as fear anxiety or oh, what will happen to me like that if patient thing the blood pressure may rise in that cases and uh, recommendations are supine or sitting position we should consider okay whether uh, we should ask the patient to lie down and we will take a measurement and in sitting posture we will take another measurement sometimes after exercise also we will measure on standing posture also we will measure okay main recommendations are supine or sitting posture so classification what are the types of classification one is primary essential secondary 90% of cases of hypertension is primary essential hypertension the remaining 10% are secondary secondary prominent uh, causes are disease of the kidney any disease chronic uh, glomerulonephritis kidney is important because renin angiotensin uh, aldosterone mechanism is operated in the kidney renin is a main uh, cause of rise in bp so uh, which uh, cause angiotensin uh, converted into angiotensin 2 uh, uh, okay uh, angiotensin ocean converting into angiotensin uh, with the help of uh, ac and after that angiotensin converting into angiotensin 2 and angiotensin further uh, causes uh, renin okay activation and all this uh, system is running angiotensin aldosterone once go on check it so if any uh, disease in the kidney like chronic glomerulonephritis chronic pyelonephritis is all causes secondary rise in the bp uh, which uh, okay then tumors of the adrenal glands epinephrine or epinephrine they also important uh, in the case of what is rule of half okay what is iceberg disease what is iceberg iceberg means only you can uh, in the case of iceberg most of the iceberg is submerged uh, means under the water only the tip of the iceberg you can see okay only the tip of the uh, iceberg like that only the portion the upper portion what you see are the diagnosed case of hypertension but there are many more uh, cases which are untreated or undiagnosed or anything like the uh, uh, iceberg okay like bottom of the iceberg which is uh, submerged in the water so that is they are comparing that hypertension like the iceberg so what is rule of half we will see normal uh, normal tensors in the old, this is one is old community okay and two is normal tensive individuals normal individuals three is in the normal individuals uh, we have uh, hypertension uh, three is hypertension in that uh, four is diagnosed hypertension and undiagnosed fifth and again treated individuals untreated individuals uh, treated uh, and cured in, the, in uh, on treatment and they are using on regular treatment and they are not treated properly and nine this is means in the whole community half of normal tenses are there in the uh, in the half of the normal tenses half are hyperten uh, hypertensives in the half of hypertensives we have uh, uh, diagnosed hypertension undiagnosed hypertension in the diagnosed properly treated and properly treated like that this uh, rule of halves are there okay so we'll go further so present prevalence of prevalence means number of new new cases uh, okay greater than 60 percent in people aged greater than uh, 60 years new and uh, okay so elevated uh, old, old cases okay elevated blood pressure uh, 10 million deaths occurred uh, leading cause of premature death in 2015 okay uh, disability uh, adjusted uh, life years 200 million people suffered with D, uh, dialysis and uh, sbp greater than or equal to 140 mmhg largest number of uh, systolic blood pressure related deaths in one year due to ischemic heart disease 
सो हेमरेजिक स्ट्रोक टू मिलियन डेथ्स अकर्ड इश्किमिक स्ट्रोक वन पॉइंट फाइव मिलियन डेथ्स इन वन ईयर सो प्रिवेलेंस इन इंडिया सिस्टोलिक ब्लड प्रेशर वी शुड कंसिडर वन फोर्टी एम एम हेच जी और मोर डी बी पी डायस्टोलिक ब्लड प्रेशर ग्रेटर दैन और ईक्वल टू नाइंटी एम एम हेच जी इज हाइपर टेंशन प्रिवेलेंस ऑफ हाइपर टेंशन ऑफ मेन इज ग्रेटर दैन दट ऑफ वुमेन ड्यू टू मोर मस्कुलेचर मोर हारमोन्स हारमोनल्स एंड लाइक दैट ओके ट्रैकिंग ऑफ बी पी means low bp tend to be low if you have low bp you are hypotensive then you remain as hypotensive higher level blood pre, uh, blood pressure uh, needs to higher as individual grow older it is in a track it will go upper not it it won't come down if you not treated properly it will go higher only so this is bp and time first it is like uh, okay normal then the individual uh, had got hypertension uh, so it is rising it is not coming down it is rising it is in a track so we will uh, call this as tracking of bp so what are the risk factors of hypertension one is age okay because as you go uh, grow older uh, you will have means metabolic disorders like metabolism will get uh, decreased and you may land up in diabetes hypertension these are like brothers if you get hypertension you will get bp bp yeah those all and lipid levels you will uh, can't metabolize no so uh, you tend to have more lipids and some older people may go into alcohol like that so it may further leads to increase in lipids so which all uh, further favors the hypertension in that age okay higher uh, initial bp initial when you are record your first time bp if it is higher the risk is greater if you record your first bp it is normal and second time it is thoda uh, gradually the bp is increasing then uh, risk will be slightly lesser first time only you got 140 by 90 when you when you got checked the risk is higher sex before only we uh, we talked about it men is greater than women post menopausal women have higher risk of bp genetic factors twins and family studies uh, we done in that uh, monozygotic twins uh, strongly correlated than that of the uh, dizygotic twins so two hypertension uh, patients 40 uh, so sorry if uh, two hypertensive parents are the patients Uh, then forty five percent of the children uh, have the high uh, chance of getting the hypertension. Okay, blood pressure levels among the first degree adult relatives statistically significant. So you should ask for uh, family history also in the case of hypertension. Ethnicity uh, average difference between the uh, BP of the two groups vary from slightly less than five mm Hg uh, in second decade twenty uh, mm Hg. During the sixth decade, okay. Second is modifiable, modifiable uh, risk factors means we can modify through diet, exercise like that. Non-modifiable, not modifiable. Modifiable means obesity, weight gain is directly proportional to hypertension. Lipids will cause uh, rise in the blood pressure. Okay, central obesity uh, means increased uh, risk of getting hypertension. Central obesity is increased waist to hip ratio. salt intake higher salt intake like 7 to 8 grams per day so we will recommend 5 grams per day or less intake in them so uh, low sodium intake lowers the bp higher incidence sodium intake uh, 400 mm uh, millimoles per day uh, they are higher risk of getting hypertension uh, no hypertension less than 60 mm uh, 60 millimoles per day if you take you won't get hypertension potassium antagonizes sodium you know it right potassium sodium potassium atp is palm so uh, one if it is potassium is influxing then sodium will uh, out outflux like that so uh, efflux sodium efflux will be there so potassium supplements will recommend for them to lower the bp and even potassium uh, even associated with the aldosterone so in the give potassium so ca- uh, uh, calcium uh, cadmium magnesium uh, this lowers the bp level saturated fat if you take fat 
generally blood pressure will rise serum cholesterol will rise so the these these both will rise and uh, leads to further increase in the blood pressure dietary fiber is inversely proportional to coronary heart disease and even hypertension fibers reduces the plasma total ldl cholesterol levels okay alcohol if you take alcohol you will you have great chance of getting hypertension and even hypertension even diabetes you will get alcohol consumption even cardiovascular disease you will get increased uh, systolic blood pressure than diastolic blood pressure heart rate hypertensive um, group heart rate is higher than normal tensive in studies if you do uh did studies and they uh, divide the groups as hypertensive group and normal tensive group and uh, they checked for heart rate through stethoscope then they noticed that hypertensive group has higher heart rate than compared to normal tensive physical activity physical activity reduces uh, if you reduce weight there is uh, reduce cholesterol there is a uh, indirect effect on the bp bp reduces environment stress higher uh, noradrenaline levels in hypertensives than normal tensives okay normal tensives has low noradrenaline whereas hypertensives have higher noradrenaline socio economic status low socio economic status they they need more pickles more uh, they will drink alcohol due to stress this all tends to cause hypertension more salt like that others secondary hypertension uh, occurs in oral contraceptive pills as they have the estrogen in it so uh, others are and even post menopausal women have the high chance of getting uh, hypertension because they take estrogen to prevent from uh, to prevent them from uh, getting osteoporosis and uh, which leads to uh, hypertension others are noise vibration temperature and humidity okay so how we will pre- prevent hypertension hypertension normally ga how many types of uh, preventions we have we have primordial prevention primary prevention secondary prevention so here we will uh, we are telling uh, tertiary prevention we are considering it as primary prevention population strategy high risk strategy we will monitor and we will primary prevention reduces the incidence of disease in reg- uh, new cases we will uh, reduce reducing the risk of onset uh, population strategy goal is to shift the community distribution of bp low uh, to lower levels or biological normality small reduction in average bp of the population produce large reduction if you reduce average bp in the population it, uh, produce large reduction in the incidence of the cardiovascular complications nutrition reduce the salt intake will advise increase fiber will advise uh, uh, okay moderate fat intake will advise um, avoidance of higher alcohol intake will advise restriction of salt more not more than 5 grams per day so moderate um, moderate fat intake will advise avoidance of higher alcohol intake restriction of energy intake and uh, weight reduction will advise so reducing the risk of if you reduce weight there is reduced of uh, risk of hypertension uh, cardiac coronary heart disease so exercise promotion regular physical activities for at least 30 minutes vigorous vigorous activity uh, he must do and behavioral changes at least 5 uh, 5 days per week he should do physical activity behavioral changes reduction of stress smoking personal lifestyle yoga we should advise health education what what are the effects of the hypertension uh, so what you should stop what you should start and we will advise him to do uh, meditation and all we will explain the benefits uh, these are we will uh, tell to him about the health education self care uh, so we will say the person to maintain log books and, uh, and to write uh, 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 the progress of him and uh, what he uh, he is doing and how many uh, he achieved the daily targets like that we will tell him to maintain log books higher risk strategy uh, so in obviously go for treatment like tell me sartan then in uh, direct renin inhibitor like aliskarin then give furosemide we have calcium channel blockers uh, so we will uh, advise them okay so and early case detection is key 
for preventing them to fall into complications treatment is essential hypertension aim is to reduce uh, the blood pressure uh, from 140 to 140 by 90 mmhg to 120 by 80 mmhg uh, so uh, reducing the incidence of stroke okay, no? patient compliance also so hypertension is the main cause of stroke if you land up in stroke if you don't recognize that you have stroke and uh, if you delay it, it's the most uh, common cause of death in case of hypertension. So, you should uh, take necessary measures for hypertension. Okay, no? So, that's it. Today, we discussed about hypertension. In this topic, rule of halves is very important. Okay, means in the whole community, normal tensors are there. Uh, in the means half are normal tensors, half are hypertensors. In the hypertensors, half are diagnosed and half are undiagnosed. In the diagnosed, some half are properly treating treatment, they are under treatment, half are un improperly treated. Okay. Like that, halves, rule of halves is very important. And hypertension, what is the treatment, what measures we will take, what is the definition of hypertension, what are the preventions, what are the risk factors of getting hypertension, so how you have to, uh, what is the tracking, these are important, what are the risk factors, how you will measurement, what are the errors in measuring, what is the criteria, what are the category of hypertension, uh, means um, which ranges like that, okay. That's it for today. Thank you. And smoking is also a great cause of getting hypertension. So reduce smoking because uh, nicotine in that will trigger your blood pressure levels. That's it for today. I hope you enjoy this section. Thank you.